Hong Kong University is now allowing students to use generative artificial intelligence for school work, reversing a ban months ago. The institution warns that plagiarism through chat GPT will still be caught, even if it's harder to detect. Remy Yang tells us more. When ChatGPT was launched last year, users worldwide were shocked to learn of its ability to produce accurate responses almost instantaneously. But red flags were raised when students began using it for schoolwork. Hong Kong University banned ChatGPT in February, citing the risk of academic plagiarism. The first SAL institution to take such a drastic move has now made a U-turn. From the coming semester, students will be allowed to harness the power of Generative Artificial Intelligence, or Gen AI. Vice President Ian Holliday explained it was never the school's intention to permanently ban the technology. It took us four months, from February to June, to actually get from knowing very little about ChatGPT and Gen AI to having a comprehensive policy. That policy covers all sorts of key issues. It covers access so that we can provide fair access to our, our students and ensure that nobody is left behind. Each student will be given 20 prompts on ChatGPT each month to submit queries. Associate Vice President Pauline Chu likened the tool to a calculator. A calculator helps you do maths, but to operate it, you still need to know the fundamental concepts, she said. The school warned that cheats will still be caught. It raises the bar for us in terms of checking and policing, but it doesn't actually um, introduce a new form of academic cheating. Making unacknowledged use of ChatGPT is, is equivalent to that. Chief Information Officer Flora Ng said teaching staff will be provided with tools to detect if a student's work was produced with the help of ChatGPT. Raymond Yang, HKIBC.